Alright gang, so if you want to add some extra colors on top of your um, one-eyed black lab mix painting, this video is for you. If you haven't painted the original image yet and need to, check the links below, paint that painting, and then pick up uh, this video once you're done with that. And on the supply list you can see that I actually use these soft body acrylic paints. Um, they're a little bit thicker. Uh, a little bit of a creamier consistency, but you can use your student grade paints uh, for this as well. All right, so we're using our small pointy brush and teal paint. And this teal actually stands out quite nicely on the black. So I am using pretty light pressure uh, with the brush, kind of small choppy little lines. And again, I just want you to kind of use your power of observation in the general area of where I'm placing each color. And again, if you feel like adding more of this color than what I do, or any of the colors that we use in this video, go right ahead and add more. This is a kind of adding these extra colors. I want you to kind of just embrace your, your inner five-year-old. Get expressive. Don't think too much about this. And again, remember to get out of your chair, walk five or six feet away, and look at your painting from that distance so you can see how each of these colors looks. All right, pause the video, take your progress photo, and we're gonna move into light pink. And again, using that small pointy brush, light pressure as we go into some of these tiny little areas. And my light pink is very light, so for some of you at home, uh, your monitors may have it look where it's almost white, but it is a very light pink. If your color happens to be a bit more pink, that's okay. That's good. Make it the color you want it to be. And any colors that I use in this video, you can switch it out to, to other colors. It doesn't have to be exactly what I use. All right, pause the video, take your progress photo. We're gonna move into yellow paint. And again, using that light pressure with the brush. And I am using the soft body acrylic, so my yellow paint's a little bit thicker, less transparent, a little more opaque than some of your student paint. If you are using your student paint, you may need to do this yellow um, section twice just so it's a little bit thicker or a little more opaque. So again, feel free to adjust with what you need with the tools that you have. All right, pause the video, take your progress photo, and we're going to use orange now. Again, you can use any color that you like for any of these. And I am just very sparingly Less is more when you're adding some of these crazy colors for the first time. And again, don't freak out if maybe yours um, is a thicker color. Maybe it's a bolder orange than what I'm using. Embrace it. That's just, like I said, your style for today. All right, pause the video. Take your progress photo. And we're going to go back to the black paint. I'm just going to kind of clean up a few lines. Anything that I may want to add, kind of reshape. I do like to redo the eyeliner and around the eyeball. And it kind of sets that eye back into the eye socket. And then any place where there might be an extra shadow or where I might have covered up some of the black lines with some of the lighter colors, I'm just going back and redefining those. Again, trust your instincts if you need to put it somewhere where I do not place on the video. All right, so this is our little one-eyed black lab mix with just a few colors of flare. And again, if you added more than I did, please send me a picture. I like to see how those turn out. So thanks guys so much for painting with me today. Please check out my other videos. 
and I look forward to painting with you in the future. Cheers. Yeah.